On the off chance that there's one thing a child can constantly depend on through the great times and the terrible, through the thick and the flimsy, from disturbed waters to in any case, it is the faithful love and backing of his mom. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Thus it demonstrated on Sunday when enduring an onslaught rapper, maker and business visionary Sean Diddy Combs was joined by faithful mum Janice outside his rambling Miami home. As of late the subject of a government examination concerning sex dealing, the Star Island compound had returned to being a family home of sorts as Diddy and Janice loosened up in its roomy nursery. After being named in multiple lawsuits alleging sexual misconduct, the father of seven appeared unfazed by the storm that was forming around him, waving casually and smoking a cigarette. Relaxing close by her child in a wide overflowed sun cap and showy green summer garments, Janice reflected his casual disposition her expansive smile demonstrating little worry for those unpleasant charges. Just a few days earlier, he was named as a co-defendant in a lawsuit that claimed his son, Christian, King, Combs, sexually assaulted a woman who was working on a yacht he rented. But in the midst of the ongoing investigation, who exactly is Janice Combs, as Doors Close and celebrity friends distance themselves? Brought into the world on the 22nd of December 1940 and brought up in New York City, Janice worked different tasks to earn a living wage after spouse Melvin Barron Brushes, Diddy's dad, was taken shots dead at 33 years old in January 1972. Diddy, likewise realized by past stage name Puff Daddy, was brought into the world in a public lodging project in Harlem, New York and raised in Mount Vernon with his sister, Keisha. However, Janice would raise them as a single parent after the violent death of their father a former drug dealer and U.S. Air Force serviceman, when he was two years old. Combs was shot and killed while sitting in his car during a rumored drug deal in Central Park West. He was an associate of the feared New York City drug Lord Frank Lucas. During those early years, Janice supported her children by working as a teaching assistant and a part-time model. Diddy would later name his successful Janice Combs Music Publishing and Janice Combs Management Businesses after her for her dedication to supporting him as a child. In 2001, she transformed an unassuming Brooklyn lot into Mama Duke Southern Cuisine, launching a brief career in restaurant management. The Southern Fair Action Item, situated at Flatbush Road and Bergen Road in Prospect Levels, served broiled chicken meals for quite a long time before unexpectedly shutting its entryways for good in 2005. Later, visitors to the Prospect Heights blog DailyHeights.com claimed that Janice shut down the business because her landlord had increased her rent by $2,000 per month. The post was later retracted, however, when neighboring hardware store owner and landlord Matthew Pinchick denied the claim, as reported by the New York Times at the time. Away from business the board Janice has likewise highlighted on an assortment of television programs, among them America's Next Top Model and I Need to Work for Diddy, which saw contenders competing for a task with the rapper. In Kamal Smith's independent thriller Ear to Ear, which was released in 2022 and starred Marsha Adams, she was later credited as an assistant in the art department. In 2020 Diddy significantly gifted Janice with $1 million and another Bentley in festival of her 80th birthday celebration at a rich supper in Los Angeles.